What do you think, Caleb? Um, Look. What do you think? Good. Are we going to catch some fish? Yeah. It's funny. It's funny. You all right, little man? Hmm? Is <coughs> it your first night fishing session? Yeah, boy. Put it there. Put it there. Pop it. Please watch on that. We need it. And it's already 10 to 11. We need to get cracking. Welcome to Fresh Fishing. I'm Foxy. Who are you? Caleb. Martin. And today, where are we? At night fishing. At night fishing, he's dribbling his orange all over the shop. We are at Tees Valley Fisheries, Tees Valley Lakes. But when it gets dark, why cats might come? Maybe, there could be some cats. There'll be lots of animals in here. But yeah, we're here at Tees Valley on Yarm Lake for Caleb's first night on the bank. Are you excited? Uh -huh. Have you got your lantern? Uh -huh. Yeah. You've got your orange all down your t-shirt now, lad. He's got his orange <laughs> down his t-shirt. He's got all his <coughs> teddies, haven't you? Oh, my eyes. Your eyes? What teddies have you got with you? What teddies have you got? Excuse me, do me, no. No, no. Uh, Ziggy? Yep. Show Ziggy? I've got my teddy. Let Ziggy say hi to the camera. Can I borrow one of yours? No. Oh. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hi Ziggy. I'm Ziggy. Who's this one then? Cedric. Cedric, isn't Cedric it? Cedric the carp, is it? Cedric the carp. Hey yo. Hopefully we're going to catch a Cedric, aren't we? Where is, where is my dummy and my sheep? I don't know. Yeah. There's your fleecy. There's your lantern. <coughs> so yeah, we're on Yarm Lake just for 24 hours. Um, it's a Sunday, so I've got work in the morning. So I'll probably be getting home for like nine o'clock. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can we can get into a few. Um, 24 hours. Just have to see if the fish are up for it. I don't know if anything's come out recently. I was looking on the catch reports and I. And the last time something was out on Yarm was midweek at some point, so nothing this weekend. So yeah, hopefully me and Old Man River can do the trick. Um, in terms of like setup, what have you gone with, Dad? I've gone with one rod on uh, Mega Method feeder. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then the other two on lead clips on um, blowback rigs. Um, one on the bottom with a boilie, the other one um, on a wafter. There we go. And I'm quite similar, so I've got one on a um, on a Mega Method, because it always seems to do the trick, so we've gone with that. And then my other two are just on um, D-Rigs with a wafter, where I think I've got Bug wafter on two of them, and an S7 round wafter on, uh, on the others. And in terms of the spots, I'll just quickly flip it round. So in terms of the spots, we've got one down in this corner here, then we've got this middle one up to the pump there, the right one up to the air right there, then Dad's is the other side of this bush, just here. His middle one is up to these left of these bushes, and then the right one. So there's the spots. 
you stop beeping, you little. You had me going. Stop it. How's it here? I was thinking, why are my alarms not beeping? It's this little rascal. So, yeah, they're the spots. And just last thing to mention um, because we're only here for 24 hours and it's only 25 carp in here. Um, We've just decided that we'll, we'll share rods. So hopefully we get more than one take and then we can have one each. And obviously Caleb's going to help us catch any fish that we get into. So yeah, that's it for now. What are we having for tea tonight? Spaghetti bolognese. Well, actually we're having pasta bolognese because we don't have spaghetti, do we? I brought pasta. And marshmallows. No, we're not having marshmallows now. Later. Later for marshmallows, okay? Okay. No. Right. Over and out. What's that? Yeah. Did you see a fish, did you? Target who came to tea. Once it was a little girl called Sophie. So there, look. Can you read it with some emotion, please? Not like a robot. <laughs> Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Come on, put some effort into it. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. That's better. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. Come on, fish. It's the third time I've had it now. You've took a liking to it, haven't you? Yeah. I took some with me cold in my last session and uh, I thought I'll get some more. It's nice. Oh, lovely and crisp. See, the rain has started. Little one's still knocking. That's done a little fix up job on the, uh, the roof so we don't have any leakage. Well, at least it's in the middle, that's the main. Yeah. Big lad's awake. Careful. Oh, look, he's not. Careful. Oh, look, it's not the rod up. Come on. Jaws Still, no beeps, no fish, as of yet. Obviously, as soon as we get anything, you will be the first to know. And then we got <coughs> some cheese. Cheese. But I have some in my own. But it's not, it's not like the cheese. And pre made spag ball. That made yesterday. Welcome to Fresh Fishing. My name's not Foxy, Caleb Philip Fox. Caleb <laughs> Philip Fox. And we are night fishing. How's your pasta? Good. Yeah? And I can eat it, then when it's finished, I will only have this. Yeah. He's not waiting around, as ever. 
Oh my, doing the uh, doing the business and washing up. The little man happy after his dinner. And we were just saying before. We were speaking to the lad who was on Woodbury, was and he was saying he hadn't seen a show all day. And uh, we are similar. Haven't seen kind of anything bosh out or anything like that. I've seen a few bubbles over here. Yeah. But it's been deadly quiet. Caleb, do you think you should put your crops on the right feet? Okay, no. <laughs> no? You want to keep them like that? Are they comfortable? Yeah. Fine. Um, try to do What are you looking for? Your suit. <laughs> Who are you? Chase. Chase. I don't Paw need Patrol. actually this suit. No? I don't need a sky suit. Thanks. I don't need a suit. Alright, okay. I have to just get into my... I'll put something over the screen so you can see what we mean here. But you what, mate? Go you in your police car? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is my two police car. Because I'm talking about the fire engine. Try and get out of this car. He said I'll do it, Dad. He said I'll do it. He's in. Fish at quarter to seven. What? Just came down and asked us how we were doing and we said, it's dead, we haven't seen anything, no shows or nothing, and uh, the rod screamed off. So there we go. Did the rod scream? It screamed, didn't it? Why? Watch, why are you doing that? Because we've got to get it in the net eventually. Wait, what is that somebody else? I don't know, it's you. What? No, oh, there's just two of us. <laughs> yeah, kind of put it down. No, 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 you'll drop it in. Why? Leave it there. Yeah, but you sit down and watch. You're putting up a good fight, yeah? Yeah. <coughs> you have to jump then go, yeah! Then yang on the ground. You finish with the yang, then the fish. The fish. You try and get it out of there. Came off. Well, that is absolutely very annoying. Um, had a mint run. It's from down in this corner, down here. And, um, picked up the rod and it came in a little bit. It felt like it got snagged up a little bit there. Um, managed to get it out. It started to come down here. Went right into this corner. I gave it a little bit more um, leeway. So let the clutch off, it took loads of line, went straight into the corner. But then I don't know what's in this box, so I'm trying to kind of pull it out of it, maybe bullying it a little bit too much, or trying to bully it too much. And then, uh, as you'll have seen, it just popped off. Very frustrating. And because Caleb's here, couldn't curse properly. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't swear properly because Cal's here. So, um, very annoying, but hopefully we've got a few more bites. Hopefully that's the start of them turning on. We'll see. Uh, big lads in his PJs. Got his camo PJs on. For fishing. 
Oh, Mars, what are you doing his rods? It is. One minute past eight. And I'm still feeling about losing the fish. But, fishing. So I think I'm just going to leave these. Let's see what they're doing. Hope for the best. He's a big slug. He's going down there, look. Is he not going to go in the cool box? No, he's not going in the cool box. Why? He's not. I don't know where he's going. Good. He's having a look, isn't he? That's it. Oh, Mars reading his book. Caleb's had his bedtime story. Both bedtime stories. Both bedtime stories, and he's in my bed at the moment. So he goes to sleep. Is he going to say night night, Cal? Night night. Night night. Love you. Love you. So, yeah. Turn it in for the night. Doing shadows. So yeah, we'll turn it in for the night. Are you doing that on purpose? It's just talking when I start talking. Huh? I'm into birdie. <sighs> We're turning it in for the night. Hopefully, see you in a bit. Morning. Morning, campers. We can do it, eh? No. Not a single peep, I don't think we had. Nothing. No. White as a mouse, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, such a life. And it's absolutely fucking it down. Fuck it in. Joy. Well, looks like this vlog is going to be finishing soon. There's no fish in the bank, eh, Cal? No, not you. We have to go home. We need to go home soon, don't we? Daddy's got work soon. I love, I missed Mummy. Have you missed Mummy? Okay. Are you excited to see her? Okay. We'll see her soon, won't we? But yeah, we're um, starting to pack up now, so I'm going to pack everything down, stay in the bivvy, stay dry. I'll probably get away with the little and Dad's going to then put the bivvy down and drop it off at ours. May, we might get something in that time, you never know, but it's looking like a blank. And obviously the lost one yesterday, which um, was keeping me up last night, thinking what I did wrong there, but you win some, you lose some, don't you? raining isn't it? It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. <laughs> so yeah, unless we get anything, any bites, any fish on the on the end of the line, probably see you in the car for a little ultra. Are you ready to go home? Yeah? Ready to see mummy? Yeah. Let's go. Right, I'm leaving now, so Omar's gonna sort the bivvy out and drop it off, aren't you? Yeah. Indeed I am. Bye bye everyone. He might still get something, you never know. His rods are out. You never know. So if he does, you've got your tripod, haven't you? 
No. Yeah, in my bag. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> sort it out. Yeah. I need to see it if you get one. Yeah. Right. See you later, Dad. See you later. And that, unfortunately, is the end of our session, isn't it, Cal? Bye. Bye. Did you have a good time, though? Yeah. We didn't catch any fish, but what did you say about them going off in the night? We didn't get any going off in the night, did we? So we need to go again. Yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah. End of the 24. Well, not even 24, because we're coming away quite early, because obviously I've got work, so... And he wants to get back. But just the lost one, unfortunately. Which is a proper itter. Because, um, yeah, it felt like a good one. But it's one of them things, isn't it? I didn't want it to get over into this corner because I didn't know what's in there. Um, in terms of that like, snags, this lake seems to be quite snaggy. I've lost two rigs. Dad lost one yesterday into snags. So I just was trying to take it out of that corner but thinking about it last night in hindsight I probably should have let it just run a little bit but that's what you do in the moment isn't it when you kind of got the adrenaline pumping and whatnot but that's fishing um, there'll be plenty more bites to be had in the future I'm sure so we can uh, we can redeem ourselves but yeah that's everything for today's uh, vlog hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up also, if you haven't already, go and check out our website, um, get involved in some of the competitions that we run, and also have a look at the merch. But yeah, thanks for watching as always, and uh, if you don't already, please do click the subscribe button, and then click the alert bell so you get notifications, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys!